Hey guys, it's Dan from Guitar Talk and today we are looking at the Analog Man King of Tone pedal. So these overdrives have garnered a reputation of being one of the best overdrives that you can get on the market today with a long waiting list if you want to buy one new and an even larger price tag if you want to buy one second hand. <laughs> pedal has two independent channels featuring their own controls, each one has a volume, drive and tone. Inside the pedal you've got dip switches which allow you to control exactly what you would like on each channel. You can choose between a clean boost, an overdrive and a distortion. This is one of the most transparent overdrive pedals that I've tried. When I was using the boost function I had to check to make sure it was actually working because it was so transparent. The overdrive channel has plenty of clean headroom on tap with less gain than you would expect from something like a Tube Screamer. It can be used as a subtle boost pushing your amp into breakup territory or giving your lead tone that little bit of an extra kick. When the distortion is selected the volume still retains that big headroom found in the boost and overdrive circuits. The distortion is slightly thicker than the overdrive channel but still retains that large amount of clarity. <laughs> of the King of Tone pedal is its clarity. The channels are so transparent that you can stack them together with ease. That means you can use the distortion and if you want to kick in a bit of extra gain for something like a solo, you can then bring in the overdrive channel which will then push the distortion as it would if you were pushing the front of a normal amp. If you're looking for a pedal that doesn't cut bass or add mids when you turn it on, you can't get much better than this pedal. One of the great things about this pedal is that it's just so easy to use and to get an awesome tone with its simple controls. Build-wise the quality of the pedal feels really solid with good quality components and it features a nice vintage looking graphic. With tones like these it's not hard to see why the waiting list is so long if you want to get one of these new.